Women's History Month is coming to a close. <sighs> it's very disappointing. But I am pretty excited about this video because... No, dogs, let's all be chill, okay? I'm really excited about this video because I'm going to be talking about strong female characters. And what it means to be a strong female character. In my personal, very biased, very stupid opinion. Lots of disclaimers are always important. Um, first off, let's talk about some things I've been loving. One, RuPaul's Drag Race, because it's the best thing ever made. Two, Courtney Barnett's new album. Three, The Bleachers' first album. And finally, four, socks. I've been loving socks. Socks have been, have been really great. Um, you just put on your feet and your feet are warm. It's novel. I've, I've never even, it's novel. I've never even heard of them until now. This was a terrible joke. I'm stopping. Bye. Hi. Okay, let's talk about strong female characters, though. This is something that's really interesting because I think everyone's first idea of a strong female character is that she is strong, literally. She can beat up a guy with her bare hands. She's quick-witted and she's tough and she's she can't be broken and if she is broken it's because someone died and she's like over their body and she wants revenge. It's some Liam Neeson stuff that's happening when you imagine a strong female character. You imagine Buffy from Buffy the Vampire Slayer and you imagine, um, uh, What's her face from the Marvel thing? And you imagine them as strong female characters. That's who you imagine. Oh, dogs. Okay. I have I'm getting a roll, I'm not gonna stop for some dog. This is this is not other people's worlds. Just open the door. Come on. We're all friends here. Okay, hold on. This is why I don't edit. So you guys can see exciting things like I'm wearing pajama bottoms. Doot doot. Okay, moving on now. That was a little bit of a reprieve from my talking, which is always good. Anyway, so that's how we imagine strong female characters. But in reality, a strong female character, in my opinion, means that she feels realistic. I mean strong is in the strength of the writing. Strong is the strength of her development as a character. Strong in the strength of her actual, like, person. Is she strong or is she weak? Is she a character who's fully developed? Not a character who feels like an amalgamation of other characters, or a character who's a Mary Jane, or is it a Mary, Mary Sue, or a character who just fits into a trope, a real human character, or alien character, or whatever, but a real character, flesh and blood, in the real life. That character can be a total bitch, but she can feel real. As long as she's strong as if she feels real, that character can feel weak, and cowering, and, and submissive, but if she feels fully developed, she's a strong female character. Um, if that character is actually tough and strong and kicks butt, that is a strong female character as long as she's fully developed. In my opinion, a strong female character means the amount of development, the amount of realism that the character holds or is portrayed with, if that makes sense. Those are my thoughts on strong female characters. What are your thoughts? And what are some of your favorite strong female characters? Mine are any Jane Austen heroines because they really run the gambit of personalities and I love that. I also think Rainbow Rowell does a really great job. I also think that, um, that, uh, Libba Bray does a good job. I was blanking, but there are many, obviously. Anyway, what are yours? Have a wonderful day. Bye! Happy Woman's History Month!